Um, welcome to the workshop on translating good research into good policies. Um, this is sponsored by the Andrew Young School of Policy Studies and the School of Public Health, both at Georgia State University. My name is Tom Moraz, and I'm Professor of Economics at GSU's, in, at, at GSU's Department of Economics in the Andrew Young School. We have a very busy schedule today um, with presentations <laughs> discussing how you might make some important headway into getting your research results to actually make a difference in the real world, not just in the ivory power of academia. I'm the person responsible to make sure we keep on track and finish on time, so I'll be brief, um, but not too brief. Okay. First, your research can and should be important. My research, for example, has had lasting impacts on the day-to-day -day lives of people living around the world. It has affected the design of tax policies and state-level malpractice reforms in the United States. It's influenced the organization and siting of health service providers throughout the developing world. Several non-governmental organizations have reordered tens of millions of dollars of their research funding priorities because of some of my and my collaborative research. Now, countries and NGOs now have a much better understanding of key, key approaches for empowering women in less developing countries. You know, not just, <clears throat> just 25 years ago, people said all that matters is female education. That's clearly not the case, and that comes out of my research. And also, I designed the poverty lines for a country of over 130 million people. I'm giving you these examples because I want you to understand that you really can make a difference, and importantly, that your research needs to be state-of-the-art, well-prepared, and well-qualified. Your research can and hopefully will touch the lives of hundreds or even millions of people, so please do it well. And after you've done it well, do try to have your research make a difference. That's why we have this set the workshop today. Your research should not be all about just getting tenure or getting a raise. So some of the mechanics of what's going on today. We will have a 15 minute break at the end of our first main session, that'll be a little after 10 o'clock. We'll have a short lunch break. It is a short lunch break. It's only a half an hour at 11.30 to noon. At noon, we'll have one more presentation, and then we'll have a panel discussion with real-world policymakers and influencers discussing on the panel. They will give you more key tips about how to get your research noticed, and you'll have a chance to ask detailed questions about how you might be more effective communicators of your own research. Additionally, at the end of most of the sessions this morning, we will have short question and answer sessions. We plan to end today at 1.30 p.m., but many of the presenters will be able to stay later than that if you would like to interact with them on a more informal basis, and we encourage you to do so. so. We are holding this workshop online as well as in person. For those of you attending through Zoom, we encourage you to participate with your questions and comments. You will not be able to ask your questions in real time from online, but we are monitoring very closely the chat feature of Zoom, and we'll ask your question. Christian will ask your questions for you. Please use the chat if you want to ask a question or make a comment. Do have someone monitoring the chat. Those of you attending in person, please be sure to speak just a little bit more loudly than your normal conversation voice. This is a somewhat large meeting. The workshop is being recorded and will be available for replay early next week. So note that there are microphones all around the ceiling here. We hear what you're talking about among yourselves <laughs> and will everyone else. Um, there will be a link to the workshop video on the registration page after the video becomes available early next week. And finally, after the workshop, we'll send out a brief email asking you to provide feedback on how well we have done here and suggestions about how to improve this type of program in the future. That email will come from Dr. LaCroix, MD. It won't come from a GSU account, so you might have to unblock it from your GSU emails. Um, so please be on the lookout for it. Um, for those of you in attending in person, Please make sure your phones are not making any noise this morning. Um, we don't want to interrupt our speakers too badly, except with very good questions. Um, 
Now we're ready for some opening remarks from the brand new dean of the Andrew Young School, Tom Pino. Thank you. Good morning, and thanks for the warm welcome. And uh, doing the math, this is now the uh, last full day of my first month here at Georgia State University. So it's just a real honor and pleasure to be able to offer you some welcome remarks. Um, after I said yes to this exciting opportunity, this was the first event that got on my calendar. And so I've been looking forward to this now for a few months. And I'm so glad to see so many people here in person, as well as so many others joining online today. Uh, my name is Tom Vecino, and I am the new dean of the Andrew Young School. I've just moved here from Boston, and this is an exciting time for the Andrew Young School. This is a new chapter in our school, and I look forward to welcoming and working with all of you as we chart the next path here. And I think today's event, uh, Transiting Good Research into Good Policy, is just such a great example of our mission in action. We use policy research to strengthen our communities, our neighborhoods, our cities, our state, the nation, and beyond. And so we have an exciting line of, a lineup of panelists and presenters, including Ambassador Young, who will be here later today, as well as many guests here on campus and online. And I'm so thrilled to learn that Dr. Florence LaCroix was bringing this workshop to our college after so many positive reviews at the APAM meeting, which was here just uh, last fall in Atlanta. I'm also, I just wanna thank and acknowledge both um, Dr. Tom Ross and, and Dr. Jim Martin at our economics department, um, knowing that we've got such a great academic department that's collaborating and doing applied work. I've often said the policy schools have one foot on campus and one foot in the community. And so I think it's just a great example um, that our colleagues in economics and um, beyond the college are working to collaborate. And speaking of beyond the college, I also want to acknowledge and thank Dr. Susan Snyder from the School of Public Health. And one of the things that really excites me today about our event, as well as just where GSE was going is the opportunity for interdisciplinary collaboration in our college and around our colleges and schools here at Georgia State. And so all of our presenters today, it really takes a team and I'm really just pleased that everyone's coming together for this event. I also wanna thank our staff who have really um, just been unsung heroes in helping organize the logistics, the space, the agenda, and the technology uh, is knock on wood, really great and working. So. Uh, just a, a big shout out to everyone that's helped made this event uh, a success so far today. So our workshop today, uh, the overarching goal of our workshop is, is to really use policy research to engage stakeholders and policymakers so that we can better align policy choices with evidence, data-driven decision-making, and translating those data and decisions into the hands of decision-makers are such a key element of what good public policy is. But as many of you can attest, researchers often speak in a different language. We have a lot of acronyms, we have a lot of initials, we speak in jargon sometimes. As Tom noted, we are sometimes stuck in an ivory tower. And so it is so important that we translate all of that work into actual language that others can understand and that others can um, use in an important way. And so that education really is the basis for translating that good research. And to have an impact, we must be able to communicate and bridge that gap with academia so that we can make better decisions outside of our academic silos with results that can advance strong communities. So during our workshop today, we'll learn how to effectively communicate with policymakers by giving them the tools to make better and more informed decisions. From each of the experts today, you'll hear better, uh, better ways and exciting strategies and insights from their real world experiences to translate that research into good policy. As you've noted, we've had many opportunities built into the schedule to have small group conversations. I encourage all of you just to get to know one another, have some good conversations, build those relationships, because those relationships are just so important to the collaborations that you make off campus as we think about ways to inform decisions and use that good research. So again, thanks for joining. Thank you for the warm welcome. I look forward to today's event.